This is Donald Pierce with Patch and MuriataPatch.com. I'm here on the campus of Brigham Young University with three fellow Muriatans. On the left, we've got AJ Moore. He's number 34 on the team. In the center, we've got Skylar Ridley, number 17. And on the right, we've got number 45, Tyler Beck. Tyler and Skylar are both seniors, is that right? Yeah. Yep. And here on the left is AJ. AJ, what grade level are you? I'm going to be a freshman. Gonna be a true you. So you're redshirt freshman. Redshirt true. freshman. Yeah. All right. So tell us about uh, your family history with regards to athletics and um, why you chose BYU. Okay. Um, my dad played on the All Navy basketball team out in Hawaii, and my mom was going to BYU Hawaii. She didn't do any sports, and uh, that's kind of how they met. So my mom's side is all LDS, and they all love BYU. So that kind of helped me to make my decision in high school to come here. So at what point in your life did you realize you had more than just an ordinary talent, but maybe a step above? Um, I don't know. I've just always loved playing football. And I think that just my love for the game and just my passion, that was when I started to realize that I wanted to play in college. How about siblings? What do your siblings do? I have a little sister that's a senior at Marion Valley High School, and she uh, she plays tennis there. All right. So hopefully she'll be able to come up here next year. Excellent. Skylar, tell us a little bit about your family background with athletics. Um, I, I know my, my grandpa, he, he played at, at San Jose State football. So last year he was in the stands uh, kind of wearing both jerseys. He, he wanted us to do well, wanted me to play well, but uh, definitely was rooting for his alma mater. Uh, my, my dad, he, he played football, baseball growing up and played baseball uh, at a college level. And then uh, he kind of passed on his love for, for sports to me and my brothers. And each of us have played you know, basketball, soccer, whatever it was growing up, football. And, and so uh, it, sports is an important part of our, our family and, and the way that uh, my, my parents taught us certain principles, teamwork, hard work, uh, you know, it really helped me to develop my character, which was is part of the reason why I came to BYU. There was a, there's something different here than any other place in the country. And as a young man wanting to serve a mission, this is the best place for, for me to come. So at what point in your life did you start playing organized ball of one sort or another? Uh, I didn't get to start as early as probably these guys did. My, my mom was, was scared I'd, of the coaches and uh, contact, and so I didn't get to play until I football until I was 12, but uh, baseball and soccer, I was on the field four or five years old. Excellent. So, Tyler, tell me about uh, your family history with regards to athletics. Um, yeah, my um, my dad's side of the family, there's a lot of athletes. I have some uncles that played volleyball in college, and my dad played um, high school football at, in Riverside actually at North High School and then he played at JC there but after his mission he hung up the cleats and focused on his education but he came here to BYU so that was kind of a big pull for me to decide to come here also my brothers growing up you know it started from a young age once Preston my oldest brother started playing and Nathan started playing I just wanted to be like them and fit in with them so I just started trying to get out there and wrestle with them I think one of my first memories is getting laid out by my brothers, like at a park, you know, full pads. But um, so I've played football my whole life. I've loved it, and it's taught me so much. So um, the decision to come to BYU came pretty easy, though. Once they once they offered me um, with my LDS background and the support from church members and um, my family, uh, it was a easy decision to come to BYU. Now, Skylar, uh, talk a little about your um, your siblings and any sports that they've been doing at uh, high school and beyond. Um, my brother was the first to go through Marietta Valley High School, and he uh, he lettered in baseball and football. Uh, and even now, he's still involved with the baseball programs in the valley. And uh, you know, he, he he was a starter, played, and kind of set the stage for the. The younger Ridley's to come up as I went into high school. Everyone was, oh, you're Ryan's brother. And, you know, my older sister, she too, she was involved in, in softball, and uh, and then my younger brother played with AJ, and they've become good friends and are still friends. And 
I always say that uh, you know my older brother he was uh, the smartest athlete and then my my younger brother the, the the most gifted but he just didn't get the size and so uh, I was kind of a mix of both and so I wish I, I had Cody's speed and, and I wish I could think like my brother does so I got a little bit of both and, and it's helped me to, to get to where I'm at today. All right. So AJ, uh, thinking back first to high school and then now college experience, um, is there any coach or teacher um, that impressed you to the point where you think, I like that quality in that person, I want to be like that? Any Anyone you want to name or any trait that you think has made you a better person? Um, well, I definitely have to say as far as a coach, Coach Parks at Marietta Valley, um, he really helped me out a lot when I was there coming up as a freshman and um, sophomore when I was on varsity. He was there for me and he was my running back coach for two years there. And really the biggest thing was he was just a guy that wanted us to work. He didn't care what we said, he just wanted to get the best out of us and I think he did that. So, so far here you're pegged as a running back. Have you done special teams or what? do you do anything besides running back? I've just been a running back, yeah. I think we'll see you on, uh, on ESPN this year? Uh, hopefully, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to learn. You've got a lot of great men ahead of you. Exactly. So maybe next year. Yeah. But we'll be looking for and rooting for you. Maybe if you're all ahead by 34, 44 points. <laughs> yeah. It's AJ's That's turn. Time, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> So Skyler, uh, thinking back to high school, um, mentors, uh, people that, whether they're coaches, in your family, whoever you're thinking of, those those traits that have made you a better man. Uh, I, I can think of two coaches uh, still involved. I think with with Marietta High School, uh, Monty Jones, who's my freshman football coach, and then I, I was with him for baseball as well. And uh, you know, as AJ said, he w he was the type of person that that expected a lot from us, but you know, was positive and and, and helped me to improve. And, he used to call me the sundial because I was kind of slow back in the day, but uh, he, he could see that there was potential and he could always push me to get better. And then uh, Coach Gonzalez, he's, he's now passed uh, due to cancer, but uh, really someone that I looked up to as, as a person, the way that he interacted with young people, the way he respected the game, someone that uh, even today as I, I'm still playing, I think back uh, on what he did for me in my, my football career. And Tyler, um, who comes to mind? Um, for sure, two right away. Um, coach Kendall and Coach Peterson, my head coach and my defense coordinator. At Vista Marietta. At Vista Marietta High School. It's funny when he said Monty Jones because I was my freshman football coach at MV2. And, man, I love that guy still. But um, coach, coach Peterson really was the first person, even before myself, to believe in me um, that I could play at the next level. You know, coming from Marietta, back then it was a lot smaller town than it is now. And not a lot of guys got out, not a lot of guys ended up playing for, you know, college or professional football. And so um, I just remember one day as a sophomore, and I didn't really even know Coach Peterson, he came up to me and he just looked, me, looked at me in the eyes and just said, you know, where are you going to play college football at? And that, you know, when people asked me that before, I was like, you know, maybe a JC, maybe this Division II school, you know, try to get in somewhere because I didn't really see how it was possible. But he believed in me from day one, and ever since then, um, he's helped me to make it happen, inspired me that, you know, we could all play at the next level. And Coach Pandell, my um, head coach, I remember when I was playing at Marietta Valley High School, and they're both great schools, but I remember I was trying to make the decision if I wanted to transfer or kind of stay at Marietta because I had two older brothers that were great athletes there. And I was kind of just always in their shadow, always in their shadow. So I wanted to maybe branch off and do my own thing. And I just poked my head into one practice one day and I heard him giving a speech. And it was just about respect and team unity and all the things I've been taught, you know, my whole life for my family and all the things that I believed in. And when I heard him giving that speech, I knew right away that that's where I wanted to be. I wanted to be someone with someone who had those, who's gonna continue to teach me those principles and those um, less life lessons about character and leadership. And so those two individuals in particular really, you know, coming out of Marietta helped me a lot. 
Have any of the three of you played against one another during high school? Did that ever Did that ever happen? Well, we, were, we were teammates and then uh, played against each other three times. Didn't we? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think one of the first plays our senior year, I caught a pass and Tyler tackled me. So that, that we probably have shown up once, but we, we played against each other. And then I, I got to watch AJ tear it up on the freshman team at Arietta when I was a senior. So. Uh, definitely got to watch and, and play against each other. Well, the Southwestern League this year again is fully loaded and ready to go. Uh, there's a recent graduate from Temecula Valley that's joined your team. That's Addison uh, Pulsifer. Have you, have you met him? Yeah. He, is he already, he's playing in scrimmages here? Uh, it's hard to miss him, he's a big dude. And is he tackle? Or? I think he's a good tackle. Yeah, he's got a great right tackle. We'll look for great things from him, and then within the last two weeks, we've had an announcement from from the Cook Boy from Vista Murrieta. Did you ever play with him? Or? No, I mean we're six year seniors. That's so. true. <laughs> we've been gone a while. <laughs> Maybe he saw him, but yeah, we've been gone a while. But just looking at him come in, big strong kid, and I'm really excited to see what he can do on the field. All right, well, we'll see how each of your teams do this season. We're what are we at? About a week and a half before game time for y'all? Yeah. And uh, I know Murrieta Valley's first game is this Friday. Really? And uh, Vista's is next Friday, I believe. Oh, okay. So. Well, you bet we're talking about it when Murrieta Vista comes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we still talk about it. All right. Last thing I want to know, do you have any words of wisdom for the youth coming up that are whatever level um, and how they can prepare themselves best for a Division One experience like like you're all having. Anything come to mind? I would say just look up to your peers. I mean, one of the biggest things for me in high school was having these two guys around. I know Skyler's family, the Ridleys, was there for me a lot throughout high school. And then Tyler, the day he came back from his mission, was at my house encouraging me to go on a mission. Yeah. And just excited to see me up at BYU. He was one of the first guys to greet me when I got up here. When I got my call, he was excited for me. So, I mean, just listening to those those guys that you look up to as examples. Where did you serve? In New York, Spanish speaking. And when did you get home? Um, eight months ago now. Great. Skylar? Uh, I think a large part of, of getting better is being coachable. Uh, you know, in high school, uh, you know, you're the best guy on your team. Uh, you know, a lot of people think. Uh, you're, you're this hot shot or whatever, and then you get here and you're the smallest guy, nobody knows your name, you get beat up. Um, you know, for me, I was on the scout team a few years, for, so it was more than just one season that you know, I really had to, to pay my dues and work hard, but uh, being coachable has helped me to progress as a player, and now as a senior, I have an opportunity to play a bigger role in our, our team being successful this year. And so uh, on top of being, being coachable, I think um, it's really important as a, as a young athlete to take advantage uh, of the weight room. I think when I came came here, I really learned what it what it meant to you know develop speed and, and strength in, in my lower body. In high school, you just think, oh, I can do a few curls, I can kind of mess around while we're, we're having weight training. But I think from the ages 16 to 18, it's really important for uh, for young players to take advantage of, of that time when their body can really develop and grow and, and get strong. These guys definitely took advantage of it. That's why they were so good in high school. I was just a possession receiver and you know, but um, really uh, take advantage of every day to get better even at that, that level in high school. Um, for me, I think the biggest thing I've learned coming up to the next level is just you can't you can't ever let anybody like tell you you can't. You know, you'll have people that doubt you, um, people that try and, you know, say, oh, you're not big enough, you're not strong enough, you're not tough enough, you don't have the work, work ethic, but just don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't, because that's like the most damaging thing I think any athlete could hear. And, and then on top of that, um, you got to think to yourself, what can I do? You know, if you're not going to let anybody tell you you can't, then what can I do? And so we're talking about spending extra hours in the weight room, like Skylar said, learning from the people in front of you, like AJ said, you know, preparing yourself mentally, physically, taking care of your body, um, whatever you can do, do it. Don't let anything slide because you don't want to graduate high school or 
get to your senior year of high school and realize that like, oh man, maybe I could have done this or maybe I could have done that and I would be having more success. But just take what you can do and do it and then don't let anybody stop you. And that's the, that's what I do. All right, well, we wish you well. Season's almost here, stay healthy. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on, on the TV. There's a lot of games that are televised and it'll be exciting. Congratulations for making it to this level and taking this time to meet with me with Patch.